Uh, so one of the uh, key features of GameWorks VR is a, a new way of rendering that we call multi-resolution shading. Uh, and uh, uh, to understand multi-resolution shading, it helps to understand a little bit more about uh, how ver rendering for virtual reality works. Uh, and so uh, what the GPU actually does is it renders a normal sort of 2D image um, that looks you know, similar to, uh, to, to what would be displayed on, on a screen. Uh, and then it, it takes that and it put, uh, has a post-processing warp uh, on that image to create what this bottom image looks like, which is an oval image. And this is actually what shows up on the display inside of the VR headset. And it's this oval shape because uh, the, uh, you're looking through optics in the headset, and when you look through the optics and see this oval shape, it actually appears to you as normal with a very wide field of view, and your eye can, uh, can have nice focus on it. But what you'll notice about, this, uh, about the top image that the GPU is rendering is it's much larger, uh, closer to about 3K resolution, uh, compared to the uh, final warped image, uh, which is around 2K uh, resolution. So a lot of the pixels uh, from the original image are actually getting thrown away, and they're not showing up in the, uh, uh, in the final scene. So what we do with multi-resolution shading uh, is uh, we can actually attempt to render something that's a little closer uh, to this final warped image, and through that, save a bunch of, uh, save a bunch of the workload. So I'm going to go ahead and enable uh, the uh, multi-resolution uh, shading. And how we do it is we split the screen up into nine segments, or what are called viewports. Uh, and in the viewport, we maintain the resolution uh, of the middle region, uh, but we basically squish down all of the edges. Uh, and we scale all of the edges so that uh, it's a little bit closer uh, in nature to what's actually uh, rendered on the screen. So this is your original uh, image. Uh, over here is, is what, uh, what gets rendered with multi-resolution shading turned on. And here, down here, you see the final uh, warped image. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on uh, for, uh, for Neil here. And now you're, Neil, can you, view the, uh, can you view the image? Yeah, I see the image. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn multi-resolution shading uh, on and off for you here. Let me remove the split lines. And so right now you're looking at uh, multi-resolution shading on. And here we're actually able to render 22% less pixels uh, while uh, rendering effectively the same image quality. So look around. And I'm going to go ahead and disable it. And tell me if you see any difference in, uh, in image quality as you look around here. Go back. OK, it's enabled again now. Yeah, I, I really, I can't tell. I don't like the field of views within. OK, now I'm going to uh, toggle a little bit. Tell me whether you think it's uh, on or off. Uh, all right, do it again. Well, you got to guess here. Oh. Um, I suppose if I <laughs> That would be <laughs> cheating. <laughs> So th the reality here is is that it's it's uh, it's tough to t it's very tough to tell the difference almost impossible to tell the difference um, in the way that we're rendering we're able to save uh, about 22 percent of the pixels that are rendered uh, but actually uh, do it in a way that that delivers identical image quality so good performance sped up reduction in pixel shading performance uh, but maintaining image quality uh, through this technique.